The first element in the realized practice is transition management. We discussed in the plan practice the approach to transition management taken by MSP and identified the components of the pre-transition step. We now consider the transition and post-transition steps. The transition step covers the following aspects. Initiate transition, establish support arrangements, enact transition, review transition and manage outcome achievement. The post-transition step covers the following aspects. Measure benefits, remove access to legacy working practices, respond to changing requirements and monitoring and reporting benefits realization. Responsibilities for transition management rests firstly with the SRO, who is the single individual accountable for ensuring a program meets its objectives and delivers the projected benefits. The business change manager, who is responsible for the realization of the benefits and the benefits owner, who monitors the successful delivery of enabling and business changes. The second element is tracking and reporting benefits realization and taking corrective action. It is important that we understand what is actually causing changes in performance and as a result address the question of attribution. Tracking and reporting benefits realization covers not only planned benefits but also emergent benefits and disbenefits. Reporting on benefits reporting can be in a number of formats including dashboard reporting, reporting on a normalized scale, utilizing benefits maps for reporting purposes, and combining graphical formats with the Pareto rule. Techniques that aid benefits monitoring include one version of the truth, clear line of sight reporting, the Pareto 80-20 rule, and management by exception.